Hello, hello everyone. Hello. We're back for a little a little episode today. Um, we've decided to just do a little podcast because we were going to do it. What day was it? Who are we? Uh, <laughs> sometime last week was it? I don't know. It's all been it, it, the days are merging. Yeah, yeah. And I was watching someone else's podcast, and they introduced themselves. Oh yes, they do. Yes. Well, I'm Fiona, and I'm Sophie. Um, and we are Team Botanical Yarn. We are. Um, so last weekend, what it? Yes, yeah, Saturday. It was my birthday. I know. It was exciting. Um, it was really lovely, and we went to a fantastic restaurant, the new Tommy Banks restaurant. Which, if anyone is local to the area, he is a fantastic chef. He is. Yeah. Um, yeah. and we went to his new pub opposite Byland Abbey, which is up in. Love Yorkshire malls, isn't it? Yes, it well, it, yes, it is. It's and it's an English heritage um, ruin, isn't it? Yeah, monastery, which is now a ruin. It's very beautiful. It's actually free entry. Is it? Yeah, did not yeah. know that. Yeah, it's actually free entry. It has been for a few years, um, and it is not so lovely when it's damp and wet like it is now. Yeah, but it's a lovely place for a picnic in the summer. Definitely knitting. Maybe. Yes, yeah. yeah, but the food was absolutely fantastic, good. so I would thoroughly recommend. Yeah, you enjoyed it. Yes, excellent. Very good. And I had one day off. That was my treat. I had Saturday <laughs> off, and then we were back here on Sunday. Oh, yeah. Um, We've been working flat out, haven't we? Yes. So we are yeah. very grateful for your orders, and we are still processing woolen folk orders, we are. as well as Advents and time precious, time pr pressured. Pressured, yes, yeah. <laughs> uh, boxes. So yes. we are doing wool and folk orders. So please, if you have any questions about your orders, please email orders at botanical yarn. Yeah, and we will get them to get to. Can't get any words out this morning. Yeah, we will reply to them. Um, just bear with us. Um, yeah. we are super super busy, and as you can see, it's just two of us. So um, we we try to do everything, don't we? <laughs> Hands in all the. <laughs> In all the pots. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's all good fun. It's all good yeah, fun. Yeah, we're very grateful. Yeah, we are. Um, so Fiona gifted me on my birthday, which she said, you've got to open it now. You've got to open it now. And I was like, I okay. So this is on Friday before my birthday. And she has made, she, Kat's mother, Fiona, yeah. has made. <gasps> Look at this. So I was just gifted one. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> just like this. I'd only managed to to finish one. It did. It did but happen. When did in, you start it? Oh, I think it was only uh, the the yarn took ages to arrive. And, so whose um, yarn is it? It's it's actually um, drops charisma. I think. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. So um, it's hundred percent DK wool. Um, it's lovely. And um, they knitted up a dream. That it, it's knit at a really. Um, quite a tight gauge um because obviously you don't want the wind going through your mittens so it's quite hard well, not hard knitting but it can be a bit tough, tough. on your hands yeah. you know um but yeah i i sort of zoomed through them but we, we've been <laughs> we, we've been busy and um there's not always so much headspace in the evening is there for for serious we like... knitting <laughs> we're just sort of like oh, i need a bath and then i need to go into bed <laughs> So, and, then um, and then this morning, ta -da! Uh, yeah, the second one arrived this morning because oh, yeah. I had a little bit of time this weekend. It's so beautiful, um, yeah. So now I have a poor, as in, my grandma would say, in between. Um, and I went to Castle Howard for the Christmas show yesterday. How so was it? Absolutely gorgeous. A little bit smaller than I thought, mm -hmm. um, but it was really twinkly and very pretty. Gorgeous. Yeah. Really so lovely. Castle. Castle, 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 Castle Howard. Howard is a beautiful, <laughs> stately home, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it's a beautiful, stately home. Um, just uh, not far yeah. from here, actually. Yes, not not too far. It was a beautiful day, unlike today. Um, but we navigated lots of floods to get there, uh, and uh, we had a lovely day. And I managed to, when I got home, I managed to finish the thumb. So I knit the thumb last night. And um, what pattern is it? Um. Pass. <laughs> I'll link it below. When we, we will link it. Yes. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. Um, it's beautiful, a it's a selbu, a traditional selbu um, mitten. mitten. Yes. I love yeah. Them. Yeah. So uh, lots of uh, thick colour work to keep your hands warm. Well, I have been an absolute dodo and left my knitting at home. I was frantically knitting last night Aww. to try and do the heel of the pinkmas 
sock oh, set. Yes, because so, it was so beautiful. So I pressed that yeah. on and I flipping left it at home. So I am. Um, well, we do have we have yes, a little. You did knit a swatch, which we is have a little swatch, which beautiful. gives you an idea. And obviously, with the um, sock set, you get the the other two um, colors. So I've used this a, for the cuff, and then this for the heel. Heel and toe, yeah. Yeah. Which one are you going to use for the toe? I think this one again. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, although this is working out really lovely, but then it's got a real lovely speckle into it, which nice. you can see in the swatch. Yeah. Yeah. The and speckles are gorgeous. Claire yeah. of Unwrapped Yarn has made this lovely pink. Uh, Christmas tree. So this is the pink must sock set. Nice. But you show it on mohair. I love it on the mohair. Oh, do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. Making the camera. Warm. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. Yeah. If I do say so myself. That um, this speckle here, absolutely lovely. Glorious. And uh, this is just the uh, foreplay. Just the foreplay with again the lovely, lovely speckles. Oh, look at that. Nice. So thank you all so much for your orders on those. I am. I'm going to twist those up today. You're going to do tag. That's our first Excellent. job. <laughs> Your favourite job, de tagging. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm so annoyed. I forgot my knitting, but anyway. But I did shame. remember. I did remember, which I keep meaning to bring in. Don't know why that's there. My thread and maple binder. So this is mine from home. Um, it is. Yeah. I I do keep it in a bag. I do confess, <laughs> but it should be out. I'm I'm looking for a nice dresser to display. Mm. So I've got a few needle sets going, nice. all different sizes. And then you've got the organizer one with the different oh, concertinas. Yes, yeah. Um, so you put your cables in there? Is that, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So I've got a few cables in there already. Nice. Yet to label them, but you know, that's another. That's another day. And then I've got this pouch one for the fixed needles. Oh, yes. Yeah, so yeah. So that fits in Excellent. quite nicely. Oh, but we've just yeah, had nice. the delivery of... Oh, I'll pop, give that to you. Yeah. The Notions page. So these will go out today. Um, so it comes with the little scissors, um, a tape measure, ne darning needles, and some stitch markers. And then it also has a little pouch. I'll open it. Yeah, yeah, because it's it. sometimes the cellophane, excuse oh, the yeah. rustling, cellophane doesn't always um, show up the beautiful leather. Um, these are gorgeous. There we go, we can see it better now. And little yeah. scissors as well, I can see those. And you get um, a little pouch. Stitch and markers. Pouch, stitch markers in. And then a pouch there, and then a zip pouch as well. And another little pouch to keep your, st keep your stitch markers in. Lovely. Beautiful. And then it folds up. So if you don't have it in your binder, so you pop it in your binder like that, you can fold it up that way and just have it. You can just undo those. Oh, I can hear a delivery, uh -oh. a rumble. Oh no, it's a tractor. We're all right. We're all, We're all okay. right. <laughs> <laughs> the panic if it's a delivery. Oh no. Oh. Um, and then we have also got the. This is the cable organizer. I think we showed this previously, didn't we? We have. Yes, we have. Yeah. And then the double. And we have the DPNs as well, yeah. which fairly self-explanatory on that one. But yeah, they're they're really they are really beautiful and they're. Super lovely investment, aren't they? Yeah, and um, it's something you can build on. Um, you know, you don't have to obviously get it all at once, um, but they make lovely, make lovely gifts, don't they? Do yeah, they do indeed? So on that note, gift wise, mm. we we do have a lot of orders to process, which yeah, we're mm. very grateful for. So we will be closing the order, the orders. Mm. I haven't had enough coffee this morning. Mm. No, I haven't. <laughs> um, we will be closing the website for orders tomorrow which is wednesday the 13th is that correct yes it is of yeah. december yeah. at midnight gmt uk yeah. time um which gives us time to process everything and get them out in the post to you uh the royal mail service that we use is doing fantastically well yes i is. just popped into my local post office this morning and she was almost in tears because people Aww. are anyway that's another story but um they are very overwhelmed yeah. but we are trying to get things to you ASAP. We are, yes. Um, which yeah. is very exciting. So, talk about boxes. I'm not going to share what's inside. No, oh, no, no. Aren't they gorgeous, though? So, this is yeah. the Kosalig box, which means cosy. Um, so, there's some lovely treats in there. And then we have the pink Christmas box. So, the pink mus sock set, pink mus sock set, is different to the yarn that's inside the pink yes. Christmas box. So, quite a few of you, thank you very much, are ordering the pink mist and the pink Christmas to go together um, and they do compliment 
Yes, they do nice. complement, yes. But they're, they're definitely different, different. Yeah. yes, yes. Okay, but yeah. very beautiful and pink. Yes. So what have you been knitting on? Uh, well, I've only bought, I've bought one whip today. Um, I just uh, picked this up because this is the one I'm knitting on mostly. So um, let me get that to the back. It's um, beautiful. So this is my curry in poncho. So it's a pattern by Amy Palco um of the meaningful stitch and it's a it's a poncho um i'll show you amy and hers so it's not it's not terribly it's not really long but just comes to sort of like your waist of jeans or um look really nice over dresses but i thought something cozy and i really fancied something red and it's got here so you've got your raglans down the front which creates this it's point beautiful and a raglan down the back, which is hard to see because I've only put it on a tiny barber cord, which I've pulled some of the stitches off <laughs> already. So yes, it's going to end up with a point at the front, point at the back and then points at the sleeves. But um, the fabric it's created is beautiful, is, is lovely and cosy. So it's um, mohair from Stash, um, some kid silk haze in a I think it might have been called chili pepper. It's beautiful. So it's sort of like a orangey red. And then just a four ply sock. Um fairly solid red. Um, but I'm really pleased with that. Um beautiful. Selma from Little Big Knits. She's just finished one and it's on her podcast in uh this sort of colour, our Yorkshire Yarn Fest. Ooh. Our Yorkshire Yarn Fest colour, which looks absolutely amazing. So she's got it in four ply and mohair as well, which looks amazing. Mm, yes. I think I've got, yeah, that was mohair. So yes, it's a really quick, it's on five mil needles. So it's Super. such a quick, easy, mindless knit at the end of the day. Nice. And what are you wearing? What am I wearing? Cow? No, I can't remember. Tal <laughs> Talvinen. I didn't think I could remember. Talvinen by Caitlin Hunter. Hunter. Um, I knit this quite a number of years ago. That's um, beautiful. Uh, from Holst Super Soft, which is probably not, I wouldn't call super soft, but it blooms amazingly once you, you do have to wash it in some pretty um, full-on like liquid wash or whatever okay. yes yeah because the oil the spinning oil in the yarn just keeps coming out um so it, it has a good soak in some pretty heavy wool wash um and um it blooms and it creates such a lovely cohesive fabric beautiful yeah i really enjoyed knitting it so um Ooh. i'm quite a fan of her well we are we're quite a fan of her patterns yes we've both knitted quite a few haven't we yeah, I've I have paused on my Talkeetna. Oh yes, yeah. So I need to get back on that. Yeah, maybe Christmas. Yeah, yeah, because it's be it is beautiful. Yeah. I went to the chiropractor this morning, which um I keep saying chiropodist, <laughs> way confused. And she said she said as I was leaving, the chiropractor's husband, uh, wife said, "And rest those fingers." I thought. Oh. Flip it out. No, I've got knitting to do. I can't rest those fingers. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, yeah. So that was funny. Yeah, just realised we haven't shown Rachel socks. Do I dare? I'll, I'll go out. I'll, okay. I'll yeah. So, um, uh, Rachel's uh, pattern for December, uh, which is absolutely beautiful as always. Um, probably, I think probably one of my favourite patterns yeah, actually. Beautiful. And in this gorgeous, gorgeous red colour, and I think it looks. If I sort of stretch that out, I think it looks a bit like. Christmas trees, this bit. But Beautiful. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. So it's inspired by the poison setter, as my mum calls. Poison my mum's a florist and she doesn't like poinsettias. Oh, um, doesn't she? No, doesn't like. Why? Don't know. Don't oh, know. Oh, interesting. Oh, I think they're really jolly, aren't they? Yeah. We've got a really nice pink one too. Yeah, obviously. So the colourway is, I've forgotten the name of the socks, but they are inspired, I think they're a poinsettia colourway. Okay, yes, um, yeah, so which makes sense. The yeah. red, the lovely red stitches. Yeah, gorgeous. Yeah. Um, I've been doing some acquisitions 
as Ooh. one might say. Ooh. So I came up with the idea that um, because I started knitting these socks and I found a whip of some um, Advent socks from 2022, okay. which I've then consequently left at my auntie's house, but we won't, we won't go there. I thought I'm going to knit my partner some socks for wow. Christmas. Wow, okay. So is he knit worthy? Yes, definitely. That's yes. nice. Yes, he's yes. a good helper. He has been here yes, most he weekends. Has. Yes, he's been Wrapping actually a gold star, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I have ordered from my. Uh, so I am a little bit obsessed with this company. They are called Fab Funky Fibers. Nice. Um, and this is a well, two fifty gram sets of sock self striping hand dyed yarn called Walking on Rainbows. And it is actually a, a full chunk of rainbow. So you start. <gasps> nice. So I'm so excited. Oh, they're so lovely. Um, yeah. So they're bright. They um, are bright. But because I, I was going to do like a blue, his favourite colour is blue, so like a blue striped pair. And then when I saw that, I said, what do you think of these? And he was like, wow. <laughs> so I'm now going to. Yeah. But he has size 10 feet. Uh-oh. So they'll yeah. probably be your dinner in February, March. Oh. Well, I knit my husband some and he loves bright socks and he would love those. And he's a size 10, so maybe yeah. maybe we ought to be doing them together. Yeah. yeah. And then my other um, guilty pleasure is oh. buying embroidery kits that I don't make. No. <laughs> so this is one from the stitchery and I have a bit of an obsession with gnomes oh, so or gonks, yes. as they're called. So I dug this kit out earlier. So I'm going nice. to start this. Yes. This weekend. Oh, this weekend. Okay. So it's Not a pre-Christmas yeah. start. Pre-Christmas. Nice. She calls it a Scandinavian tompt. Tompt? Tompt. T -O -M -T. Oh, I've, not, I've not heard of that name. I've heard of gonk. Yeah. We used to have gonks when I was little. Did you? Yes. They were, it was a gonk. So I think it that might have little. been a thing. Gonks. Yeah. But, um, so that's a gnomes, brand called yeah. Stitchery. So nice. Very excited. Yes, that's lovely. And that's so that's another like nice soothing, yeah, meditative thing. How many teas did I get in there? Meditative. <laughs> meditative. But we are going to host a giveaway because mm. we want to know what you think and we want to know what you would like from us for yeah. YouTube going forward. So we've been given the opportunity to open memberships. So kind of like our Patreon account um but slightly different so we can offer memberships through youtube of different aspects yes yeah so um i'd like you to comment below um to win a hundred pounds voucher Ooh. to spend on our website so a gift card lovely so we will pick a run a winner randomly um next 23rd shall we do 23rd okay yeah so it's just over 10 days, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's that's a good amount of time for you to think about what, you, what you'd like to yeah. see. So, for example, um, some of the options could be like tutorial videos. So yes. yeah. Fiona is a very talented knitter. You are. Okay. Um, so Thank different you very techniques. much. Like, <laughs> I'd like to learn from you how you catch your floats on colour work yes. when you take more than... Yes, two yeah. or three stitches in a row. And yes, because like I, I mean, on this thumb, I I m made sure I caught my fo floats yeah. very regularly, even though it's only a small pattern, because yeah. it makes the fabric inside yeah. much nicer. Yes, and then I was also going to show my sock that I was making because yeah. I do it on circulars, and then I use a double pointed needle for the heel. So I was ah. going to do a little tutorial on those. So, yes, our question is, what would you like? from the youtube channel going forward that's um would yeah. you like tutorials would you like behind the scene videos would you like fiona dancing <laughs> please no <laughs> definitely not sophie singing oh, no, how about that one definitely how not. about that one oh, oh my <laughs> goodness <laughs> sophie you're really out there today <laughs> um and perhaps like a a fortnightly craft uh live video which would be the members only yeah there's lots of different options of what we could do yes um and then like a, a discount on the website or free shipping or there's lots of different aspects that we could offer going forward yes on the youtube membership yeah especially if um if some of you um maybe have seen other memberships and thought oh this is a really good way of you know uh engaging with the shop or the product supporting us, and supporting yeah. so um, we will still continue to make 
free videos for you to watch. Yes. But by introducing the membership, it helps us make more content and keep regular content for everybody. Yes. As well as the membership option. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So expanding and um, going forward, what aren't we? It? Yeah. So that hopefully, if we go ahead with it, we'll be launching sort of late January next year. Mm. Um, and I did get a very exciting email this morning that the Hohe & Co, have just seen your pamper bucket. Oh, yes. So the Hohe & Co orders that we pre-ordered, the pink bags, oh, yes, are yeah. ready. <gasps> Excellent. And they will be dispatching Buenos Aires soon. Okay. So I'm praying for the DHL gods <laughs> to deliver before we break for Christmas. That would be so good, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. But um, who knows on the shipment. Yeah, it's got to come a little way, hasn't it? Yes. So, um, yeah. Yeah, we shall wait and see, but um, we'll keep everybody updated. Yes. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you. And hope you're all well. And don't forget to comment below um, and subscribe. Yes. Subscribe to our channel. So to enter the giveaway, you need to subscribe. You need to remember that bit. Subscribe and comment below what you'd like to see from us on our YouTube membership, if yeah. we are to go through with it. Um, and you can win a £100 voucher to spend on our website. Yeah. And hopefully give us a like. That would be nice, wouldn't yeah. it? <laughs> we like reading all your comments, so yeah. it's really good. You came yeah. in and you're like, did you see that comment? I said, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> laughing. We do. We yeah. do. We do read appreciate your comments it. and we do appreciate you taking the t uh, the time and the trouble to, yeah. watch. Um, to, to watch and to comment back. So it's great. Thank you. So on that note, we'll go and I'll go and empty the dye pans and we'll start processing more orders. We will. Okay. I've got cake though. So that's oh. <laughs> Always yeah. need cake. Yes. Always, need cake. Always do. Yeah. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye.